happy Saturday. It's absolutely freezing here today in New York City. I don't know if you guys could tell, but there are flurries outside. I don't think it's showing on camera, but yeah, it's it's flurrying out there. As you can see, I'm getting ready because I'm about to head out to get a haircut. I haven't had a haircut in a hot minute, and it took me a while to find someone that I feel like I could trust here. Well, it's my first time going there, so I don't even know if I can, but I'm taking a chance on the salon. I saw it on TikTok. It looked like it had a lot of great reviews, so I guess we will see. By the time you guys see this video, we will be on our flight to our honeymoon. An extremely long flight at that. You guys have any guesses on where we're going? I mean, it's probably the title of this video, so I won't make it the title of the video. Maybe I'll just say, like, pack and prep with me for a honeymoon. But that's basically what today's video is going to be all about. Just today we're starting the packing and prep portion of things well more so the prepping because we still have a bunch of stuff coming in the mail but we are leaving in about a week and a half so hopefully it all comes in on time but yeah we're really excited we just booked another little boat um tour thing last night and guys when you see this boat it's unreal like there's a slide on the boat to jump into the water there's kayaking there's like biggest lounge chairs which is exactly what I needed because I do tend to get like seasick so laying down always helps me feel a lot better and the food also looks incredible so we're super excited what I'm not excited for is the extremely long flight to get there I believe our first flight is 16 hours our second flight is six hours and then I think our last one is maybe like an hour and a half so it'll be a very long travel day and we've already been prepping like all of the travel necessities we need. I'm usually pretty good on flights. I usually fall asleep right away. But like I said, the longest flight I think I've ever been on was maybe eight hours. And I think the same for Jay. So this will definitely be an experience. I'm just planning to bring as many things to keep us occupied. But yeah, like I said, we are super excited. And today is just going to be a haircut day for me. Probably going to get the same haircut that I usually always get, which is just long layers, trimming the dead ends, and curtain bangs. So hopefully it all turns out great. I'm not doing any crazy makeup. Just putting on some of this glow screen sunscreen to give me a bit of a tint okay guys i did like i said not really any makeup just use the rare beauty brightener and then my sunscreen but just wearing my favorite jumpsuit just wearing my favorite sweatsuit that you guys always see me wear from aritzia obviously to put on my shoes and my jacket and i'm pairing it with my little by far purse that i told you guys i got from the sample sale it's actually my first time wearing it so pretty excited <laughs> guys we're back home I wanted to show you guys my new hair I'm absolutely obsessed it's definitely going to be my new go-to hair salon the man who did my hair I think his name is pronounced look Loik. I'll have a tag down below but they were amazing absolutely loved him so this is just what it looks like this is what it looks like from the front we basically just did long layers and then some curtain bangs here in the front it did get a little messed up because it's super cold here the wind is crazy but i'm super in love with it So I'm sure you guys will see the title by now, but yes, we are going to Thailand for a honeymoon. We're very excited and we're also going for my birthday. It seemed like you guys liked the last pack and prep with me, so I figured I would do another one for you guys today. As you guys saw last week, I did go get a haircut. My hair is looking a little crazy right now just because I saw SZA last night and definitely had ourselves a time. I also got my nails done, which you guys would have seen yesterday if they would focus. I'll just put a photo. Um, but yeah, so now all I really have to do is pack. I still need to get a pedicure, 
whiten my teeth, um, do extra skincare, you know, that whole sort of thing. I am gonna redo my hair the night before as well. It is Sunday and we leave Tuesday night, so I do have a bit of time, but work is so crazy. So I'm like, let me start packing and prepping everything from now. And then as we get closer, really focus on like, you know, the skincare aspect. You guys know I love to do extra skincare for any trip. My hair, um, whiten my teeth, all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's get into the pack and prep with me. So I don't know how much luggage I'll be needing, but I think I'm gonna need definitely the big one, maybe this medium one, and then I also have a small little rolling carry-on, as well as this base carry-on. So lots to pack. We will be gone for about, I think, 12 days. I also have a drone now. It's actually right here. So I need to figure out how to kind of put that together and yeah, just figure everything out. It's the next day. I was just feeling really overwhelmed with the whole packing process and just life in general. There's just been a lot going on. So I did take a break yesterday, but really got to get to it today since we are leaving tomorrow and I have absolutely nothing packed. Still need to get a pedicure. I want to do like full skincare tonight, like I said, and redo my hair. So lots to do, but like I said, going to take you guys along with me for it all but yeah let's just get started on the packing so here are all the clothes i would love to take i am definitely going to try and aim to take all of them but of course i am really trying to only bring one suitcase well one to be checked although we are allowed i think it's two each but just to make things a little easier for traveling because we are traveling from one city to another it would be easier to just have you know not as much coming with us. I do have a lot of new clothes I've kind of mixed in here with all the other clothes I already have. I feel like I'm pretty good on the dresses, shorts, pants. I do have to bring long pants because we are going somewhere really fun and they recommend long pants so bring that. I have socks, underwear, bras there. I do think I need a few more so I'll get it from the laundry, it's just in there now. I have pajamas, bathing suits, cover-ups, everything pretty much. And then I have all my tops here, but I haven't really gone through, seen which ones I actually want to bring, try things on, because I haven't purchased any new tops. I've only really purchased new bathing suits, dresses, and shorts, because that's mainly what I wear. So just gonna do that right now, and then start rolling everything up and putting it into the packing queue. Hello. Got a few helpers. Helper number one, helper number two. You guys gonna help me pack? Yeah? You get to sit. No, 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 no. Not inside there. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so this is my helper and this is my other helper. She's probably just gonna get into things as usual. Somebody, you're gonna help me fold all the dresses? Yeah? Okay. Let's start with. Well, actually, mom did not try on this one, but this is a medium, so we should be good. Let's start with this dress. If you guys have seen my other pack with me videos, I always use these packing cubes. It just makes things so much easier. So I usually save the bigger ones for, you know, my more bulkier items. So for me, I have a ton of dresses and then I also have a lot of pants. So I'm going to start off with the biggest ones and then I kind of... <laughs> Just work my way down. I mean you can't possibly get any closer to me if you wanted to. The way that I do it is I roll every single item and it just saves a lot of space, makes things a lot easier. So I'm just going to start doing that now, well at least trying to because... Oh, you want to help too. Thank you. Yeah, let's see how much I, of this I get through. Okay, you guys can't sit right on top of me. Like, mom, mom does need to pack a little. I think, I think they know we're going, so that may be the issue. What do you think of this? Oh, thank you. All right, guys, you guys are making it a little difficult for me. 
How is mom supposed to pack? just packing we ended up going and getting a pedicure i don't really think i vlogged much of it though just because I just was in a rush feeling very overwhelmed and we didn't end up going to sleep until like 3 a.m so that's where we're at now but i just finished sharing as you guys could tell the, the whole you know shaving um exfoliating wash hair um face body obviously all of that so i've just packed those toiletries and now i'm about to do a little face mask because like i said i always like to do them before i leave and i'm also going to do my hair because it's pretty messy right now and i'm going to do a whitening strip because one i haven't whitened my teeth in a bit but two i always do before a flight so i'm about to put that all in and another thing i like to do before a flight is i usually just clean my my ring so i have this little lauren b like ring cleaning thing that um they gave jay when he purchased the ring so about to do that as well and yeah then i'll show you guys how everything's packed away everything is pretty much packed i just have to finish packing the bays bag there my little carry-on as you guys know love that bag and then jay actually gave me an early birthday gift so i'll show you guys that in a second but yeah just really excited to get everything together i also have to figure out everything for the dogs since they will be staying my parents i usually pack them like a little bag as well with all of you know their toys medication food treats all that fun stuff so yeah it's about 2 14 and we have a, a lot to still do so let me quickly hurry up and get on it and like i said i'll show you guys everything when i'm done <laughs> fully packed the only things i still have to pack is this little area here which is really just leftover hair care skincare stuff so not a big deal also i have the drone charger and my laptop charger i also have to put away as you guys saw i completely packed my little base carry-on it is a little dirty now that i realize so maybe i'll try and clean that before we go this is just my main suitcase i'm really hoping this is under 50 pounds because i honestly have not weighed it at all the only thing i have to add in is also my dyson which i already added in all the pieces but i just have to do the main part but as you 
could see and here I have all my dresses underwear socks bras all that stuff this is really just t-shirts I have two corsets on the side because they didn't really fit in I'm crazy and I'm bringing a lot of tripods so this is for my phone it's also for my phone my phone my get ready with me is with I'll actually have those both linked down below in case you guys are interested I have these shoes which I'm really excited to wear I actually got them from Abercrombie this purse I had um, I actually purchased when we were in Capri so I thought it'd be cute I am supposed to get my period so I brought these little heat therapy patches since honestly every time I bring my heating pad it just ends up completely dying like it doesn't work with a converter I think it's kind of similar to blow dryer so didn't want to do that again this time and just brought this along as well as pads over there luckily my Dyson will work there because I have the UK one as well so that's great have another purse here some more shoes on the side this is really just pants I actually have to add in another pair of jeans now that I'm thinking about it this is really just bathing suits cover-ups and then in here you guys saw me add all of my makeup and then in here is really just extra you know skincare toiletries so like you know actually more hair care so just like you know, my gizu stuff stuff for curly hair all of that and then of course another pair of heels another purse then this is my carry-on that i'll be bringing like the rolling one i basically bring all my valuables in here because i don't trust being having anything checked so i have you know prada purse another prada purse jay actually just surprised me with these um new hermes sandals my first little hermes purchase so very exciting i have my gucci slides under here my gucci platform whatever they're called another pair of sweats because i learned every time you fly to always bring an extra pair of sweats or some sort of clothes to change into because you just never know and here is actually my dyson carrying case i'll have this link down below for you guys as well but it literally fits the dyson and all of its pieces i'm just missing one um, attachment that I'm about to use right now, but literally fits everything perfectly and that's just the drone We actually haven't practiced with it at all So gonna try and do that before we leave but this is just kind of where we're at and as you can see We're both two very different people. Jay doesn't use any packing cubes does not roll any of his stuff and just Somehow places it all in so I'm sure his suitcase will probably be way less than mine, but yeah, he has his own little version of packing. So I'm finally about to do my hair. I just got dressed. I did put this little dream coat thing in, but I feel like I should put in a little more just because you're supposed to do it right after you spray this in, and I didn't exactly do that. But last night I actually cleaned my Dyson for the first time. And like, not the filter, I always clean the filter, but the round brush attachment, I could never figure out how to get a clean, like, of course, taking out the hair and stuff, but, you know, there's always, like, some residue gunk in there, and it's supposed to drive me crazy. I looked everywhere on Dyson. There was, like, no, you know, rules on how to clean it or anything. Everything just said wipe it with a cloth, but, like, these bristles are so hard to do that with. So, last night, I left it in, not overnight, just for, like, maybe five minutes, or ten minutes, I would say. I left it in a bowl that was filled with my apple cider vinegar like clarifying shampoo and I just left it in there and moved it around for a bit. It was like warm water and that mixed together and the amount of stuff that came off, disgusting. So I'm really happy I finally decided to do that. Well actually no, I, so I left it in there for about 10 minutes then I took an old toothbrush and really just scrubbed it with you know the soap and everything, well the shampoo and everything and literally everything came out like this thing looks brand new so i would highly recommend doing that if you have a dyson and if you haven't you know really figured out how to get all of, like the gunk of like of, like dry shampoo or any of that stuff definitely try that out but for now i'm just gonna quickly blow dry my hair i know we're gonna be on a plane for essentially an entire day so this is kind of a waste of my time but i don't know i feel like i'll feel a bit more put together with my hair a little blow now and it'll be easier to manage okay guys this is what my hair is looking like i left these in for a bit i'm honestly not going to leave it in for too long because it's time to go we're trying to beat the traffic and head on over to my parents to drop off the dogs and then we're going to head to the airport 
Her hair looks crazy right now. So this is how the hair and bangs are looking. They will definitely fall. Obviously, if we're going to be on the plane all day. But yeah, this is pretty much it. I'll quickly show you guys my outfit and everything packed up. We're super excited to go. I'm not that excited about this extremely long flight we're going to be on. Not going to lie. I just realized that I need to get more deodorant right now. And a few more snacks since it will be a very long flight. And Jay. Jay and I were going back and forth. Because I was like, you need to... Um, like pick my meal from now because I don't eat meat and he was like no blah blah, blah I could do it within 24 hours. Oh my Jay, I've flown internationally how many times like you always have to in advance Well, it looks like I won't have a meal in this flight because it'll definitely be meat So I want to try and get some extra snacks since it'll be a long day But yeah, let me quickly show you guys what I'm wearing so this is my airport outfit. I'm just wearing this sweatsuit from Zara. Jay actually got it for me for Christmas and it's pretty comfy. So I figured this would be great for a very long flight. And then I'm just pairing it with my Air Force Ones as usual. And then I have everything all here ready to go. Got my plane pillow. And yeah, we're ready to head on out. I'll catch up with you guys when we're there, but stay tuned for all the travel vlogs.